The next story is Jay Glazer's report, which I actually have a lot to say on this whole thing because... Say it, baby. Um, so Jay Glazer made he made a big deal that he was going to report this, right? Oh, yeah. Like, he like was a like, 24-hour warning, like, hold on to your dicks. It's happening. Yeah. And, and then his report was that the first active NFL player test positive for coronavirus. So reporters are in too deep in the weeds. Remember, I got dragged in. Someone tried to drag me into the weeds or, or tried to, like, push me into the weeds when Yankees MLB minor leaguer tested positive. I got a phone call and some text was like, you can break this, break this, be the first one, you know, this is huge. And I was like, no, thank you. Yeah. No, thank you at all. I, I don't, A, that's like, I don't care about being the first to break news. And yeah, the, that's not a big story. Like everyone's going to get it. And, but you see, man, with Jay Glazer and with Heyman, saying, you know, on the death of Hank Steinbrenner, saying credit to Joel Sherman, he had the passing of Hank first. Like, reporters are in too deep yeah, with making their own, with their own society of reporters. And I don't think all of them are. But, like, we're getting a lot of weird insights into the brain of these people. To hype this report up, And get people excited. Like, to say, be prepared, I am doing something big, is to hype it up. So, and then in turn, you're hyping up something terrible. You know what I mean? And also, not news. Yeah, I, I think I, I think the the phrase you had there is just in too deep. Because I think a lot of these people at this point are are used to the system and links and clicks and everything. And these reporters... Like you said, and we, we've talked about it with our news stories and even our sports stories, which most of them have been bigger stories because everything else is about Corona, is that these people are just in too deep and they normally are reporting stuff. And now they're kind of not. And they're they're looking for clicks and retweets and likes. And so when when this comes into Jay Glazer's lap, like what's he thinking? He's thinking like, oh, I, the Rudy Gobert thing was so big in the NBA. The, the, NF, the NFL doesn't have a face of COVID-19 yet. Um, and yeah, he uh, it, being off the deep end, he to, to say I'm dropping big news in 24 hours and it's a guy got Corona, um, just a huge miss and being lost on the sauce. Just weird. It's like weird. And they've been like doing a normal off season. So people like there were a bunch of Odell Beckham trade rumors going around. It's like well, that would fit the billing of something Jay Glazer would be able to report. That would be big news at the same time, I guess in hindsight, like if he's going to sit on this for 12, 24 hours, it can't be that big. Cause then just like Schefter or Rappaport would have tweeted it. Cause they're smart and would just tweet it when they have enough. Information yeah. To say it's real. Oh yeah. Like the fact that, No one. I guess I don't know what I thought it was going to be. Jay, like other people knew this, right? And they just didn't care. Because if someone wanted to step on his toes and be like, Jay's probably going to report this, they could have. But no one cared. Well, I think the other thing that BBD is saying, if something is so important enough to break it, you just break it. You (laughs) You would never sit on it for 24 hours. Yeah. Not anymore. (laughs) Yeah. The uh, whole thing is rather weird. And he, he like also had the, he came out and was like, it is a huge story and it's not transactional. It's like, oh, is NFL about to say they're delaying the start of the season or whatever? Because that would be a big deal to announce that right now when everything's been, yeah. they're not going to do that. In too deep. And Some 41 story. The Heyman shit was jaw dropping. Like holy fuck, is this guy not a human being anymore? I mean, it was, but it also wasn't, right? Like, end of that, the day, you're not shocked. Because <laughs> I, stopped, I, stopped, I stopped roasting Heyman on Twitter because it's not shocking anymore. Like, you know, that's who he is. I unfollowed him. I got over it. That one shocked me. Like, that was another level of, like, what the fuck? But that's not, that's the, you're not in the weeds anymore. 
if you were still in the weeds, you'd be like, yep, there's Heyman. <laughs> but you you removed yourself from the weeds, which Jay Glazer now needs to do. Yeah, no, I, I was never in the weeds. Heyman just like <laughs> usually he just does word salad and bad reporting. Yeah. But now he's like crediting someone for the for the first to cover the passing. Like that's beyond weird Heyman. That's a whole new level of like, dude, like change something about yourself. But if I told if I told you that a baseball reporter were to do it, I think you would have gotten it on the first guess. Yeah, or someone like really old, like Gammons, just like out of touch. A Gammons, you think Gammons would have put that uh, whole whole thing together? 